What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're installing an external oil cooler with a fan. I actually had Emmett help me out with it. He's a big help when you need an extra set of hands in the garage. Also had went ahead and welded this bracket onto the frame horn. So it's pretty solid. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. I'm doing this because I actually been running about 12 to 15 pounds of boost rather than the five to seven I've been running. And I did that by installing a boost controller. So more boost, more heat, hot oil. I also put in this three inch downpipe. I actually came off a race car or a drag car. So let's go ahead and finish the installation. I'm gonna go ahead and get the hoses ready and the fittings ready. I actually got an inline fan switch. Here's the inline fan switch from Summit Racing. You see it says it activates at 190 degrees and then it shuts off at 175. So what I'm actually gonna do is wire it straight to the battery, run all the wires through there. When I do shut down, it still cools the oil in the cooler. Hit a catch a vibe, you might catch a little contact. Catch a vibe, but you might catch a... Only thing showing this late be the freak show. All right guys, so we got the oil cooler installed. Got the outline going to the cooler, to the thermostat switch, and then from the cooler all the way to the remote oil filter, and then back into the engine. So here it is all done. I wrapped the lines in some exhaust wrap just to keep it away from the heat or keep the heat out as much as possible. I also went ahead and changed the spark plugs, did a valve adjustment and an oil change. So let's go check this thing for a ride. Right, guys so we went for a quick normal drive let's check the temps turbo sitting at 300 degrees oil cooler is at 154 oil filter is at 186 and the drain plug is at 159. So the oil cooler did not turn on since it has a 190 degree thermostat switch. I'm sure if I drove it more aggressive, put more boost down, the oil temps would have gotten a lot higher since a lot of the oil goes through the turbo and then drains back into the engine. So there's a lot of heat here from the turbo. I actually would not have done this. I would not have put on an external oil cooler. I got hooked up by my buddy Janice. He was kind enough to hook me up with this oil cooler since he didn't need it anymore. Usually when I sit at idle, my car oil light will flicker after running it all day. That's why I thought this was a good idea to put an oil cooler on, an external oil cooler, plus my normal stock oil cooler. All right guys, so that's gonna be it. The external oil cooler that I'm running is gonna definitely help me out with the program that I'm running with my car. I'll keep you guys updated about it and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Hey, hey, one time like.